in my bricks like a chimney. Huh. Got a stiffy, I got connection to something like Wi-Fi. Said it wrong, but you read me. What's up? What's poppin'? It's your girl Samira, and we back with another video. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to get your hair slick as hell, slick to the roots, slick to the gods, slick, 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 slick. As you can see, my hair is really dry, brittle. It's not even dry, it's moisturized, but it's really matted. Like, my hair is really, like, coarse, thick. And I'm going to show y'all how to get that slick look. And it's going to help y'all out a lot when it comes to your buns, your high ponytails, or whatever you do. So, the things you're going to need is a big wide tooth comb. Because since we're not using heat, you're going to want to stretch out your hair as much as possible. And I feel like a wide tooth comb is the most effective tool for this. Only because it doesn't pull out your hair and it also gets the job done. So as you can see, I'm about to start detangling my hair with that wide tooth comb. I'm also going to go in with like a smaller wide tooth comb too. So I'm just going to be like alternating back and forth between the two. Trying to tangle this messed up hair. So let's watch. As you can see, I'm braiding my hair as I go to just make sure my hair is as stretched out as possible because the more air that enters my hair, the more like puffy it gets. And I don't know if it's just me, but I just braid it as I go. Also, braiding also helps it stretch out too. So that's what I'm doing, taking my sections and then I'm braiding it. So y'all probably asking why I'm not using water. The only reason I'm not using water is the point of this is to get a slick look. If I were to use water, it would make my hair more, I don't know how to explain it, just more coily and it'll cause my curls to come out and we don't want any waves, we don't want no bumps, we don't want no curls, we want it to be stretched out. So that's why it's important to also make sure your hair is moisturized. So when you're combing it out, it's not really breaking as much because you have that moisture. So instead of water, we're using oils to protect our hair. Now, as you can see, I went in with some Haitian castor oil. Now I'm just unbraiding it to Get ready to actually comb it out and prepare to put it up and slick it down. Okay guys, so I'm back and I'm looking like a bug. So I'm going to put my hair into sections and I'm going to start applying product. Um, I'm going to apply a lot of product, like a lot. Mary's Edge Wax, a 24 hour tamer. And this brush, because it's the hardest brush and it's the most important brush to get mm. your thing slick. And I'm also going to be using Got To Be. <laughs> so 
So as you can see, every time I'm working in sections, I ensure that the section I'm not working in is like pointing out. Like I look like a unicorn right now, but this is actually helpful because it makes sure that the other hair is still being stretched out while I'm working with the rest of the hair. So do this to make sure your hair is stretched out because sis, we need it stretched, like stretched. <laughs> Basically, my application process is I put the Murray's beeswax first and I make sure to not only put it on like my kitchen area but also put it like on my actual hair because when you're pulling it up you're brushing like your whole back of your head so I try to distribute it as much as possible and also then right after I put the Murray's I also applied the 24-hour edge tamer on top of it and then once I applied both, I brushed it up. And you see how it's already getting slick? Like, okay, girl. like I got a bunch of bald spots in the back of my head but I really think it's just the way I brushed it up like I brushed it up to the point where it's looking like I have mad spaces in between but I'm just repeating the same process I said for my application process all around my head and I also require like recommend a bunch of scrunchies because a lot of people they do this and then they take out the scrunchie and then they use one in total but my four type hair is not gonna work with one scrunchie so unless you have a really big like thick scrunchie that can hold it in i recommend like just having a bunch of small scrunchies and using that and just adding and adding it it's kind of going to be a pain in the butt to take out but it's worth it ryan little <laughs> Also, do not recommend gel I don't recommend gel I do not recommend gel if you're trying to get a slick look only because gel is water-based and that's gonna cause ripples and waves in your hair it's not gonna get you the slick look like yes my final product is not gonna be completely absent of waves and ripples but it's not gonna look as someone who used gel so don't use gel make sure you have a hard base um like application thingy to put on your hair to make sure that it's slick like as you can see now i'm going in with the um 24 hour edge tamer and you're gonna see how like it starts to smooth down my hair more and more <laughs> Thank you.
I just went in with another scrunchie for safety and I'm tying it down with multiple things to make sure it's slick and once I take it off you guys are gonna see the final product it's this is how slick I could get it um I feel like I did a pretty good job with no heat considering the state of my hair before but I hope y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like comment subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one I ain't trippin' back no beach, no, I ain't crashing back no hoes. Man, I rock out with these glizzes like I rock out.